so how's everyone's day going? Um, so this is a a low budget film that is in the Middle East or takes place in the Middle East, trying to modern wars um, with Iraq, Iran, and all that. I don't know what particular country this one particular is in. Um, I'm guessing Iraq. Um, now I do not really like to watch uh, modern war movies. Um, I like more history pieces of war, like World War II, uh, somewhat Vietnam. And I, I, if I said before, I don't really like um, War One movies, but I'm trying to get into them. Um, I did a uh, 1917, and uh, go check out the review for that. Um. The the second movie to this that came out this year that I will be doing a review on at some point um, caught my eye. And I, I was looking at this and I was thinking at the trailer for the second one and thinking, oh, so this is a sequel and I got to check, check that one out first, which is kind of a pain in the butt. But um, so this is the first one. And this stars, this one and the second one stars Young Lee, I think his name is. Um, I swear I've seen him before in in movies before, and I, I, I I'm pretty sure I have. And honestly, he does a better job in those as I can fully remember than he does in here. Um, a lot of the people in here, everyone except the head bag uh, terrorist, um, did you know not that great of job. Um, but the whole military movers between room to room and stuff like that, definitely a good job. The, the uniforms I, I'm, I torn on because they don't use those anymore. As far as I've been told, those type of uniforms, um, um, I mean the camo, I mean in general, um, but I really don't care though, because I personally like the old camo compared to the ugly ones that are today. The they, these are a group of pe different special ops people from different other countries of the UN. Um, the French guy in here is supposed to have a French accent. He's uh, French Special Forces, has a big beard. I was not buying at all his accent. Um, there was barely any accent. I'm not buying that he was French. Um, obviously, it was, he was speaking in most of the time was in like pure American English. So obviously, he's not um, really French. Um, I could be wrong on that. Um, the Russian chicken here, at first I wasn't believing her accent, but then she didn't talk a lot. But more she talked and had way more of dialogue in here. Uh, I did believe she was Russian, but I could just be reading, in, reading into that too much. Um, she did kind of look Russian. Um, there, the guy, the black guy in here who plays the SA officer, um, he looks... And sounds just like uh, Jessica Alzi or something. Uh, um, I forgot his name, but he's the guy that the big black actor who is British, and um, he he they pe people wanted him or Hollywood wanted him to be the next James Bond. Um, I don't know his name, but I definitely like him as an actor. Um, this guy is definitely not him. Uh, but I could be wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure it's not him because his acting was just not good either. Um, he he played this over-the-top uh, kind of authority against Dick. Um, I had the word in mind, but then I forgot it just now. But he plays this guy, and he do, he thinks he can do whatever he wants and kind of thing, and... You know, they tried to make a story arc to it, but, you know, it didn't really fit there. Um, the bad guy in here, I don't recognize, but he looks like someone who has played uh, a Jesus Christ in a, a film before. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's not the uh, one with that Mel Gibson directed to him. But I'll, I'll, if he is, I'll put it in here that he is. Uh, but I'm not thinking it is, but he looks like it. But he did a good job in here. You know, just... 
it the the special effects were were you know for a small budget film you think would be you know what they were and that's this kind of hokey somewhat a mixture of CGI and you know uh, blood packs. Uh, some of it was realistic, some of it wasn't. Um, the story definitely though was there, and it was intriguing, and I actually did enjoy the movie. Um, I would definitely give this two out of five stars. I give. Uh, now you're probably thinking, well, two means you didn't like it. Um, it, it 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 really depends on the movie. It's some there, it's fifty fifty. I do like movies, even though I put them at two or two and a half out of five. Um, I definitely did like this, and I do look forward to seeing the second one. Now, I'm going to be putting out a second video tonight for sure, because I'm just in the mood to watch movies today. So, But it will not be the second one. That will be hopefully Thursday, because there's a movie down the line of... Um, that I bought that's, that I've been waiting for the watch starring Chris Stewart. And it is called Underwater. It is a horror flick. And it will, they'll be out on Wednesday. Um, so hit the bell icon if you hadn't already. So you'll know when I put out the video for it. Um, let me know in the comments below. Have you heard of this movie? Did you like this? Uh, oh, first off. Well, another thing is I'm a little over the place now. I'm sorry. Uh, this came out in 2019. The new, the new one came out this year. Um, so... This, this will let you know. But, yeah, that's my review for it. Uh, I try not to rush through things, but, you know, I'm just, I was just really excited to put this out, uh, thinking through the whole movie of what to, to say and whatnot. And I just, you know, my ADHD gets in, 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 intact in there. So, anyways, before I keep rambling on, hit the bell icon and subscribe. And stay healthy and happy, okay? <laughs>